My name is Ham Donishman, and we're going to be talking about another Verisys uh, video series of uh, training material for you. So today we're going to talk about the smart equipment single zone rooftop, and we're going to be talking about what are the two different controls method based on a single zone rooftop. Is it the thermostat only, or are you going to be using a, a simple network stat and bring that into the system? So. Uh, typically, I would say a lot of the rooftops out there uh, are going to be using thermostat, and to do that is fairly easy. So if you, if you have one of these controllers, obviously in the rooftops and basically on the Johnson Controls or York, uh, one of our brands, you have this SSE controller. Within the SSE controller, you have a lot of different wirings here, and obviously this is a, a demo case here, but in the rooftop itself, you will have your typical standard safety wiring pre-configured from the factory. Your thermostat inputs is always on the left hand side and based on our documentation and there's labels right here, sill screen on the board itself, that's going to give you the actual connection from the thermostat into the into the controller itself. So traditional wiring from your W1, W2, Y1, Y2, your G and R, everything is labeled here for you from a wiring connection. Uh, you could either use a spade connector or you could use our white terminal blocks to uh, be able to make those connections into the board. After the thermostat is connected, in this case, uh, there's really one settings that you have to go to, and that one setting I'll show you in a second, and you basically have to tell the controller itself, are you a thermostat only or are you not? So yes or a no, basically that is the configuration. Uh, what comes out of the factory, default value is yes. So it always thinks you're going to have a thermostat as the first default value. In this case, uh, we made sure this said no. So we went in and made that change. So what I want to do right now is to go to the section where, which you would have to go to and make this controller communicate as a thermostat control only. So at the highest level, when you click on this, uh, you will have... Um, Sorry, I almost dropped the controller here, so let me make sure this thing doesn't fall. Um, at the highest level, you will see your status, and then you want to go down to uh, your, uh, what we call details, and you want to go to a section called uh, service, and when you go into service, you have a section called factory. That is where your factory settings are, what comes straight out of factory. In this section, there's also multiple different choices. The choice we want to go to is called standard. You go into standard, and you have multiple so choices here, like number of cooling stages, number of heating stages. You could change those uh, if you want to. Or with the section that we're really curious about, you have to go down a little bit further, and you'll get to a section called, let's see, a thermostat only. That's where it says TSTAT dash only. You want to hit enter there. Right now it says yes, which is good. Um, I thought it was said no earlier, but the default is yes. If you want to say no, what you would have to do is hit uh, move the joystick to the right so it starts flashing, and then you move your, uh, make your change, make it no again, and then you have to hit the enter, and then flashing will stop. So before I do that, Again, the first por portion of this video was to show you how to make it yes. So obviously it was set to yes. So I want to go ahead and continue with, with the video right now. And the reason I want to change it to no is the second selection of the controller, the smart equipment controller. So if I don't have smart equipment, uh, if I don't have a thermostat input, and typically when you're connected to a Verisys uh, control system, that would be the case. So you could have a much uh, simpler connection is what we call a network stat. Our network stat here, we have multiple different variation of the network stat with the display, no display, we have warmer cooler adjust, we have uh, actual set point uh, buttons that you could change. So multiple different variation of that network sensor. And so that network sensor actually communicates a communicating stat. And that connects to what we call our uh, SA bus, this is our sensor actuator bus, and that's what this connector is on the bottom. So in a typical job, you would have a connector on top, or you could use your spade connectors, and then connect that to the actual network sensor 
that's connected to the rooftop. So a single zone rooftop can take our network sensor as an input or it could have a thermostat as an input. So if I want to switch this now to our network stat, uh, all I have to do is change this thermostat only now and make it no, which we did. I'm going to hit the enter button. And when I hit the enter button, obviously it goes to no. So nothing else you have to do. The system automatically switches. It goes from thermostat to a network stat. Now you have a single zone uh, system that's being controlled of a net network stat uh, of the system in this case. That should conclude our video for this session. Hope you come back for the next video. Thank you.